ranking phone tier list because I'm we have really nothing to do. So yeah, so if you guys didn't know, I actually spent a lot of time looking at phones. You know, all these. I'm I'm a very techy person. I don't have a really good phone. A50s, not that good. Okay, anyways, so yeah, D, E, B, A, and S tier. Okay, so let's start with Xiaomi. Xiaomi is a very interesting company. I would say like it's quite good. I wouldn't buy it because of its ad application okay it's it has a few ads and mm, few here's in their quirks that i wouldn't buy but like overall it's really good it's softer pricing all of that so i'm going to give it an a tier i'm i wouldn't i wouldn't buy it to be honest but like it's really good red hydrogen red hydrogen mm, red hydrogen should just stick to cameras man they i don't think they should go for phones d razor Razer is good, it has great phones, but they're gamer centered. They're not really for everyday use and all that. They're gamer centered, which I would buy, but like, not at really at the same time. So I would give it a C. ZTE, I don't know what that company is at all. LG, okay. LG is very interesting. They usually release their types of phones every year and all that, like a different type of phone. Now, I would give it like a C, but uh, LG is no longer there, so D. Apple. Okay, Apple is uh, very easy to use. All that it's very awesome. Yeah, all the easy features, all the, all the cool features. But it's kind of a copy of Android. It just looks better. But like its performance isn't the absolute best, and it's a bit lacking on the like on the freedom. So I'm gonna give it like an A because it's really fast. It's great cameras, but like its cameras maybe not so much. So like A. Asus, okay. Asus is a uh, used to create. Asus are all types of phone, compact phones, all those phones. Yeah, all the like, compact phones, gaming phones, normal phones, and their gaming phones can also be used as everyday phones. It just has features where you can use it as gaming. Over, it's a bit over the top, and like some things that are like, they're still trying something extra on it. And the cameras aren't the absolute best, so also like maybe a B. Blackberry, no, D. Straight away, no one likes Blackberry. It's just dead at this point. Lenovo. Lenovo is uh, good. They're Legion Duel 2, but like, it's also very gamer centered. Isn't that great? So I'm gonna give that a C. Energizer is. Energizer, yes, they have made a phone, but it's like not palatable. They're gigantic battery phone or something, yeah. Energizer. Phone, yeah, this one. All of their phones are they're kind of unknown and all that, and they're gigantic batteries, which are like good, but like they're not palatable size. So it's gonna get a C, yeah. Really is really good. It it has good, great price or value, but like because it's mid range, I'm gonna give it like a B. So far, there's no, okay. Google, Google is great processing, great value for price great all of that yeah um google i would give it like yeah you know what s s tier straight up s tier google is an s tier s tier okay huawei now i would give this an s tier or an a but its cameras are great and all that but the fact that it gives no google services is already a d it's a straight up red flag now OnePlus is uh, used to be like one of my favorite companies. Uh, like like they came out with something great for a price. They want they were very user focused until this year where they started becoming more expensive and like not that special anymore. So I'm just gonna give it a B because yeah, it's not so user focused. HTC was popular before, but it's like kind of gone now. So it's probably a C. Mizu. Mizu has, is not really good at all anyways. So I don't know explanation. D. Motorola is great. It has great phones and all that, but it, no one really buys it so A B. Now Honor, same thing. Wait, no. Honor is now in the US, so it has Google services all over again, but I would still give it a C because no one really uses it. Nokia, okay, Nokia 321 there is great, but I wouldn't say it's A tier because most of your phones are mid rangers, so it's a C for this. Uh, Oppo makes great phones, it makes 
mid ranges phones as cheap as one hundred dollars in Singapore and expensive phones as a thousand dollars. It is like absolutely amazing. Yeah, uh, and yeah, it makes world of both everything great for price. So I'm gonna give it an S tier. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. Essential. I don't remember essential. So let's go. Samsung. Samsung is A tier. Although you use a Samsung phone, I would have given myself S tier, but A tier because it's kind of like great and all that. But their software support. Okay, their software support is good. Like I don't. I just generally don't like the skin and like it's just not man it's kind of mad to be honest it's all right i guess it's sharp also i don't know sony okay sony is great but it's like phones for enthusiasts like me not for the masses so i'm gonna give it like a c there's a lot of c's in this category vivo great but it has many many expensive phones the only the good phones, the only the only the flagship ones because of the cheaper phones are not it. Yeah, yeah, no. So like another C. Redmi is great. Also the same thing as Realme. So it's gonna get a B because like yeah, mid ranger. Now I do not know Z3, ZT. I think I've heard of ZT and Essential, but Sharp. I don't think they make phones in the first place. Yeah, so anyways, uh, we're just going to like save and download this and like probably put this as a thumbnail. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this uh, six minute video of me cheering phones. Alright, thank you guys for watching.